Hi, in this video I got the Savage Mark II with a 21 inch barrel. Uh, I'm shooting the Browning Precision Rimfire 40 grain hollow point. Uh, and I'm going to be shooting at a little still, I think it's still, I'm not even sure what it is. It's about 310 yards out. I think I know where I get, I've got to get my elevation. Back this off the touch. And, um, but I may have to walk it in a little bit. I need to bring my front end up a little bit. Okay, so I'm going to try here first. So this. Okay, that hit low. I gotta elevate more. Go right up there. That was a hit. I think that was a hit, at least damn close to it. Uh, that was high. And that was to the left. And that was low to, or excuse me, to the right, both of the last two. Don't know my left from my right sometimes, apparently. I didn't see catch that one. Um, hmm. Got this one and one more round left. Okay, just off the left edge near the top. And just off the right edge. And that should do it. Um, now I'm going to try 500 yards. Okay, so I got 10 rounds of the Browning Precision Rimfire 40 grain. Now I should have this rock with this stuff like three weeks ago. So I'm going to duplicate the scope settings that I had there. Um, we're going to see how well I do this time. I did pretty good last time. Okay. This is a long, long shot. I'm not trying to tell the wind. It's almost like there's no wind here where I'm at, but. We'll see where it falls and we'll adjust. And that hit low. Saw it there low and to the right. So. So right there. And to the right, my elevation looked good that time. So we must be kind of pushing it that way maybe. Oh, 
Oh, right there. Yeah, maybe a little low, but getting it close. A little high. Again, a little high, a little bit to the right. Uh, to the right. Oh, that one dropped well, way low. So I got at least three rounds left. Uh, just to the right. Ah, uh, got a failure to eject. Okay, I'm gonna have to turn this. Way. Okay, that was a failure to extract, not eject, but anyway. Um, let's see. Let's get elevation back. A little high. A little to the right. So this should be my last shot. Again, just to the right. But um, for 500 yards, I think it's pretty good. Uh, I think I'm going to try 10 more rounds. Okay, put 10 more rounds in and see if I can actually hit that rock. I don't know. So 500 yards is pretty far. Well, it's 510 yards. It might have hit, it may not have. Uh, maybe I can we'll be able to tell on the camera. I couldn't see no dirt pop up around it. So maybe the camera caught it. Okay, that was a little high and a little uh, right. That might have hit it too, or just just at the bottom of it. But it is damn close. Okay, that was low. Now <clears throat> you can't see it in the, in the in the footage, but. It's obviously on a hill, and I'm actually aiming right at the top of the hill, probably 40 feet above it, maybe 50 feet above it. I'll zoom out when I, when I, after this 10 rounds, so you can get an idea of how high I'm aiming. A little high and left. Low, but winded was good. To the right. 
And mind you, that rock's probably no more than about six inches across, if that. I'll try to get a measurement here after I'm done shooting. Ah, a little high, a little right. Ooh, I couldn't tell if it was over or if it was dust coming off the rock. Again, hopefully the video, I can see something better. Um, yeah, last shot. Get set it in again. Oh. Oh, no, failure to extract or eject, uh, extract. So anyway, that was it. Um, ah, I'm not going to complain. That, that's pretty good for a 22, I think. I mean, this ain't the most expensive 22 in the world, this Savage. Um, and I don't even know if this is the best ammo, but this one seems to like the ammo a little bit. Okay, so now I'm going for this. It's a big rock, and we're talking a big rock, like four feet tall. I got a about a six to eight inch white painted dot on it. So 400 yards. We're going to try it. I got the Browning Precision Rimfire 40 grain ammo. I'm going to have to walk it in a little bit, I think. And hopefully I can see where I'm hitting up there. I guess I didn't have the magazine in all the way. I don't know. There's no round in the chamber. So. Okay, let's try this this time. I think it hit low. I think it hit low. I'm going to try here. Yeah, I'm not seeing it. I may have to, may, may have to change tactics. Try one more shot. May, may have to change tactics. Try one more shot. No, I am not seeing it. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna change it up because it's just too rocky up there. Uh, there's a, another rock I'm gonna I'm gonna put the camera on. I think it's like 370-ish. Let's see. Okay. Um. So the bigger area, a little less rocks, a little bit more dirt around there. Let's see if um I can see where I'm hitting at. <laughs> That's half the battle, especially with the 22. Okay, so I'm gonna go here. I'm gonna go here. I'm gonna try here first. Okay, it looked like it was low and to the right, right at the base of the rock. So. And that was way low, huh? Yep. 
think it's time to clean that up again. I did not see anything. Hopefully the camera caught something. Okay, that was, looked like the top right of the rock itself. Look like the top of the rock. Bottom. It was right in the rock somewhere, but hopefully the camera picked it up. wasn't counting that's not good so yeah eh, not as good as I would have hoped all right okay so I'm using the Savage uh, with the Browning Precision Rimfire 40 grain hollow point uh, I'm gonna see what kind of group I get at 100 yards I don't know the sun's coming out it's not very hot but it's starting to cook my head it feels like so we'll see how I do Two rounds left. Mm, that one, I didn't, it seemed like the whole rifle slipped on me. It was weird. And that's it. So, um, what, three inches probably? Yeah, a few outliers. Those are probably just me, maybe. I don't know. Anyway, not too bad, I guess. Alright, thanks for watching.